So we've been talking a lot here at the Gadget Show 2014 about connected homes, homes yeah. connecting devices together and this whole internet of things principle if you like. Yeah. Uh, talk us through where the idea came for Lightwave and, and how this has evolved. Well, Lightwave has been in existence for eight years um, and we've now just launched our heating range but primarily it was to help assisted living. So we've got a number of products in the range from PIRs to light switches to power sockets to make it easier to manage the house and for people to take care of people remotely so that you can do remote monitoring and just make sure that you know perhaps some elderly people can be looked after they're not going to fall over in the dark um, by turning light switches on and off again and things like that so that was the original concept for the business talk us through how it's changed from that original concept through to where you are today because you're very much smartphone and app based today aren't you absolutely with the technology has just changed dramatically um, the the light Lighting is so important now. You know, LEDs weren't around five years ago, eight years ago. So we can now do dimming of LED lamps. Um, we now have um, integration with Mosaic, which is a, a similar system to Sonos. So it's wireless music streaming around the house, um, and that's got Lightwave Integral built into it. So you can hit the light button, and it will do the mood lighting when you listen to your music as well. So very, very clever stuff that's coming through. Um, that's all app driven. Um, and and the future to, to scale that up. So going forward, we can integrate security systems, IP cameras, um, pet care products, all sorts of stuff really. We've been talking a lot about the Internet of Things and connected controls at itproportal.com. In particular, we were covering the story of Google acquiring Nest. Do you feel yeah. in the industry of technology generally, there is a, a bigger and wider recognition of this ability that we now have to control things remotely and, and, and harnessing the power of that? Absolutely. I think that the power now for the home automation really is right here, right now. Um, you can go all the way around your house and change the power sockets, the light switches, PIRs, but you couldn't control it. Now you can control it. Um, but there's no point controlling it unless you make it smart. So by smart, we mean use the events on the apps. You know, nobody really wants to sit at home turning things on and off every time they get home. You want the smart connected home to do it for you. So that's really the power. It's the clever technical ability of the app to do that and then you override it as your life changes you know if you stay into a restaurant turn the lighting off change the things there but do it by exception rather than the norm of course you mentioned uh, your kind of background was in helping people care for others but yeah. is there a financial or kind of ecological benefit to these as well uh, absolutely the the production and the way that we make um, for instance the LED lamps um, it's all about green technology so the factory uses water powered um, injection molding machines, um, LPG gas to make the products, so there is a green story for the products that we make um, and, they're, and they're made with a very high recyclable content in mind as well. And of course by, by being able to control your lighting and your power usage remotely it gives you that bigger flexibility to save energy doesn't it? Uh, absolutely and it's part of a joined up package you know there are, there are lots of products like this on the market but we truly believe this is the widest range that incorporates all sorts of different lighting sockets, power switches, now heating, very shortly security all through one hub um, which is really quite exciting. So you've got a great demonstration of the app here on the screen behind us, just talk yeah. us through some of the features. Well this particular one can demonstrate the, the ease of heating, um, so um, from here we can simply choose the temperature that we want our heating to be, I can set that and that has sent a remote control command now to the thermostat and that will change my heating then. So that's it, that's all I need to do and I can do that from home, I can do that from a remote location or I can set an event or if the temperature gets to a certain point I can get an alert on my phone and say actually do I need to look at that, do I need to go home, do I want to change it and I can take whatever action I need is very quick on these types of products because the retail price is actually very low so we're talking 29 to 99 pounds for the whole range 99 for the Wi-Fi link which is the most expensive part of the system and you only need one of those so after that it's a very fast payback um, there is an energy monitor as well um, so you can you can wire that in and then through the app you can actually see how much you're, you're spending per room per area per day so you can keep in, contr in complete control. Um, I can see the point where you, you know you've got music streaming online, security, internet 
cameras so you know if, if the door opens you know where it is I mean we've already at the point where we've got magnetic switches for heating so you can if you open the window it will automatically turn the heating off um, but I think the technology can be upscaled into bigger installations so student accommodation soft commercial areas I think we'll start to see it developing and challenging some of the more traditional business management systems.